everybody, it's Stacy from Quick Quotes and Patsy, and we just want to welcome you to the Shop at Home Scrapbook Page Edition. We're glad to have you here, and we hope you enjoy all the presentations for today. There's some great ones coming up, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hi everybody, it's Stacy from Quick Quotes and I'm here with Patsy today to um, give you a few deals. Um, we want to show you some scrapbook page bundles that we have that are a great deal. Um, Patsy has a demo for you on how to make an interactive page. Um, first off, um, I would like to tell you about our um, Club Q, which is our scrapbooking kit club. This comes to your door every month. Um, the one that you're looking at here is actually the free kits you get when you sign up. So you pay nothing for these kits. Um, the way that it works is you always get, there's two different options. There is a um, page layout option where you always get two double page layouts, plus you get an extra pack of paper, ribbon, vellum, extra stuff that we give you every time. Um, but we, uh, every month we send you a new kit in the mail. Um, the page layout option is $19.99 plus shipping. It's at $8.99 flat rate shipping. Um, the great thing about it is you can opt out. You have, a, you get a preview every month. Um, and if it's something that won't work for you, you don't have to take it. Um, the only, um, obligation with our kit club is to take four months before you cancel, but you can skip in between there. You don't have to take four consecutive months. Um, but this right here, if you were to sign up, this is what will come in the mail absolutely free. Um, the other option is if you like to do some altered projects as well, you can do the ultimate bundle, which comes with a mini project. And it's always different. Sometimes they're mini books. This is the small project. And it also comes with a larger project. So there's a little tag book here. And these are always different. If you do the ultimate bundle, the altered projects are always different. We sometimes do cards, calendars, mini books, um, accordions. Um, there's, there's lots of different options there. Um, but since we're here for scrapbooking pages today, this is probably the one um, that might suit you. Uh, $19.99, and these are the free kits that will show up when you get your project. And you can see here we have a very, um, it's a variety of styles here. This was July, and once you are a member, you can request past kits if you'd like. But these here are from July. And then this one is actually what is going to be shipping in August. So if you were to sign up, um, the great thing about it is um, for this event, we are giving you 20% off of your first shipment of Club Q. So if you go to our website, shopquickquotes.com slash Club Q, um, and you sign up, you fill out the sign up form, um, any a sign up that comes in in the next two days will automatically get 20% off your first shipment of Club Q. And every month after that, you'll get a variety of stuff in the mail. Um, you can opt out if you want to. Um, lots of options. But now I'm going to hand it over to Patsy. She's going to do a demo on how to do an interactive waterfall page. Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. And I'm, I'm going to show you how the waterfall works. Now, I know a lot of you have already done this, and so you're already pros at it. But those for those of you who haven't, um, it just takes um, a few pieces of, um, we, ours are already die cut. And um, you need um, this piece of paper. It's got score lines already on it. You're going to fold it along all these score lines. And then you don't. Um, accordion fold you just fold it so that it works like a roll top desk so this is the main piece to your project we also have little arrows showing where the next piece goes and you have this little tab that looks like this and that will be adhered matching up your arrows that will be adhered to the bottom here
And for this kit, it all comes, we'll show you the kit here in a second, um, but we have two kits that actually have this all, it comes all die cut for you with instructions on put it, how to put it together. So you don't have to do all the scoring and stuff like that. It's actually in the kit and we'll show you that as well. Right, and if you actually get the kit and you put this together once, you'll find out that it is something that you could do on your own once you get all the instructions on how to do it. So this is a little mechanism that's, re this is really important. You can't glue this down completely. All you're going to do is add some adhesive to both ends, and then you glue it on about five inches down from the top. And I put, um, I die cut a little square and a little hole on here so later when you go to hook everything together you have and you can see where I drew the circle and I drew the square so that you um, know where the rest of your project goes. So now that you have this, okay, this is um, where all your little pages have go are going to go and you see the hole and the square, that's going to be, we're gonna call that the bottom for now. Then you're gonna add adhesive between all the score lines so that when you add pages, you have something to glue them to. And you, s now <clears throat> here are all your pages. They're actually the same paper, but we turn some one way and some the other way. And I think I'll start here with this one. So this first one goes on. Actually, I'm gonna show you a little bit about um, adding some color. This is called Deep Sea, and this is using our powder puff chalk inks. See how pretty that just darkens up those little edges, and it really defines it from the rest of your project. You can put a little or a lot, um, and this one's called Deep Sea. It's one of our very popular ones. Nice, deep, dark color. So I probably won't um, on this show you on each one, but just to show you that you can add color and it helps it a lot. So there's your first page. Here's your second page, right up next to the next score line, your third page, right up next to the next score line, fourth page. You can put these pages on in any order that you choose. You can put them all on exactly with the same pattern if you want, or you can make them go every other one like we're doing. So there you go, you have six pages. Now you're going to take, see where your pages are on this little piece that's kind of like a roll top desk. We're gonna take the piece that we added the tab to and it slides in behind this mechanism that we added to our background page in the very beginning. It's a little hard to see because it's same color, but it's the piece that we added adhesive on the left side, adhesive on the right, and we left it open in the back. Now we're going to, um, as you can see, there's a hole and a square, and I'm gonna make a mark here so you can see that. There's a hole there and a square here. And then also down here is your hole and your square. So all you're going to do now is add adhesive to this area and then you're going to pull this flap here and match up these the square in the hole here and that's the only thing that is glued So see, once you get that glued down, and this is going to end up on the outside of your page protector. The little mechanism in the back, the little stripper paper in the back, will go onto your background, your actual background paper, but then this, in order to make it work, has to end up on the outside of your page protector. So what you'll end up doing is you will cut a slit in your page protector here, and at the bottom of the little mechanism, two slits, and then you will slide this piece in behind your mechanism. And then as you can see, you have a cool waterfall. Isn't that cool? Okay, and it also, this is the actual layout that this goes with, okay? It's called Ocean Vacation. Item number DP991, DP991, Ocean Vacation. So that has the waterfall right here 
And see how simple that was? And we also have another one. This one is really limited. Once this one's gone, it's gone because the paper line has been discontinued. But this one is available right now for just a short time until they're gone. And that one is DP915. Happy. Happy by, by the sea. So anyway, I'm going to turn this back over to Stacy, and she has some more things to tell you about. Okay, the next would be, um, this is one of the best bundles that we have on our website right now. Um, this one is already put together with a discount. So um, the 20% discount doesn't apply to this one, but you're already getting a crazy good deal on this one. Um, this one is called our Scrap All Day Bundle. Um, so if you know that you're getting together with your friends, um, or if you just have an entire day that you can scrap, there, this bundle comes with 12 pages plus two mini projects. And with these, we also have instructional videos on our Facebook page. So you can go right along with our instructional videos and put every single one of these together. This bundle for 12 pages and two mini projects is $99 on our website. And you can find it at shopquickquotes.com, um, the Scrap All Day Bundle. So I'll give you a little sample here of all the kits you would get. This one actually goes over your page protector, it hooks in, and you can put extra pictures in here. You can add like 10 extra pictures there. For storage, you can kind of see it's a good variety here. Choose Joy. This one also goes over your um, page protector, and it has a little book that folds out here. So a couple interactive things. If you don't like interactive things, you don't have to put those on, but they're fun techniques. And again, we have uh, videos on our Facebook page. There's 12 pages in this bundle, um, plus two mini projects. So there's all of the pages. Um, and this bundle, again, is $99 on our website. Um, this is the, we call this the piggyback box. There's um, front and the back here, and it's a great little gift set. Um, there is directions, everything in there to be able to put all of these kits together. So if you don't get onto our Facebook page and watch the videos, you can put them together all by yourself. They have um, very well written directions in there for you. So this bundle has 12 pages, this mini project, and then a kit that does two mini frames here. And this one's looking a little sad. We, dr we dropped our water bottle on it, but it's Cute little frames here. So with that bundle, you can find it under the, um, um, what is it? Scrap All Day Bundle. So 12 pages and two mini projects on there. And Patsy also has another bundle, um, our Super Scrap of Day Bundle, um, which comes with 14 pages. 14 pages and a bunch of little cards. And a bunch so of that's cards like cool for little bonus. Um, anyway, this one's called You Are My Treasure, and this has got a chipboard, um, a fun chipboard backer, and then it's got some techniques in there on how to tear your paper and layer it up and um, using a ruler. And then this is another part of the same layout, same paper line, Simple Joys. And this one's called Life is Better and Flip Flops. This looks like fun summer project. So there's the first page of Life is Better in Flip Flops. This one is the second page and it's also got a big interactive book with a great big pair of flip flops right on the front. And this opens up twice like this so you have lots of space here, 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 here and this will end up on the outside of your page protector. There's a couple more that go with that. Then here's another one fun simple bright colored little layout lots of flowers and this one is called choose happy lots of fun tags with a little ribbon banner piece and here is another interactive card that goes on the front see how that just twists all by itself and closes okay and then on the little cards we have a bunch of simple cards that look like this from the same piece of paper and then um, this one is also the same concept as the waterfall we just showed you okay and that's also a card and this one is the same concept as one of 
the layouts and it's a spin card. So anyway, this bundle is 14 layouts and um, an extra card kit that is just there for fun. And um, it's, you get a great deal on that one. It's 19 or um, 119 and you get everything there and um, with instructions in each kit. So if you go to shopquickquotes.com, um, you can look at any of the bundles that we have if you want a great deal. Or our event special today is 20% off any page kits. So if you use um, code LIVE20, you can get any page kit for 20% off the regular price. If you go to um, shopquickquotes.com and there's a couple bundles for you. There's a great deal for you. Don't forget that if you sign up um, today or tomorrow for Club Q, you get 20% off of your first shipment. And what else? I think that you've covered everything. So anyway, I hope you've had a great day. Um, visit our website and um, we'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, I have, I have a few to show you. Actually, I forgot. I forgot. Okay, these are a couple that were actually just added to our website. So if you have ordered in the last couple of weeks, these were not on the website yet. Um, this is a four-page layout. It's called Let Time. It's DP874. It's four pages for $16.99. So these are gorgeous aqua and gray colors. Um, this one also was just added. I know some of you have um, done this one before, but we just added it to our website. It's um, four pages. Uh, DP 924 Sunshine. And that's $16.99 for four pages. That's a good deal. Um, graduation kit. We have very limited of these left on the shelf. Um, I know it was kind of a crazy year for graduates this year, but this is a good way to com commemorate their graduation uh, stars and stripes 4th of July um, we're in the middle of summer so here's a great summer one this is DP 999 and each one of these comes with step-by-step -step instructions very clear pictures um, all of our page kits always come with um, very clear instructions in there so these are just some of the few. We also have kits that are specific to each month. So this is the February kit, but there's a um, kit on there for every single month too. So there's a few um, options for you. We have over 50 kits probably on the website, um, plus our kit bundles that we just talked about. So um, yeah, the 20% is the 20 is on any um, page kit that is regular priced. So check it out shopquickquotes.com. See you later. See you next time. Hi, I'm Trisha Morris from Club Scrap and welcome to my studio based here in Nina, Wisconsin. We at Club Scrap have been making a kit every single month for scrapbookers since June of 1999. So we've been at this for 21 years and we really know what we're doing now and we love what we do. And one of those things is to help you scrapbook efficiently and to give you ways to use absolutely everything we send in the box. Well, let's take a closer look at our monthly kits and other things that we have available. I have a lot to show you, but I think it's good to start out with what's happening at Club Scrap during the month of July. So if you were to join Club Scrap this weekend, you would get this beautiful pizza box, which is very upcyclable, in the mail or your preferred delivery method. And inside you would find the Prism Page Kit. So this is the collection we designed specifically for this month. And all of our kits contain um, the basic uh, same types of things, including our originally designed papers, both printed and planes, ribbon, embellishments, 
and also everything you need to create the pages with what we saw. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So once you get your kit in the mail, you can also download and print, if you wish, a, a set of very detailed instructions. And on those instructions, we show pictures of the cut-aparts that we uh, have designed for the kit. This helps you complete your pages with lots of titles and, and visual embellishments. And then we have a very detailed paper trimming diagrams. So each uh, image that you see here represents a piece of paper in the collection that you will trim exactly to the measurements as specified. And then um, each of those pieces is used on one of eight 12 by 12 pages you can make with the kit. And then the instructions also include a detailed laundry list of everything used on the page and of course a picture of the layout so that you know where everything will go and um, even on the instructions I include the measurement the photo would need to be to fit perfectly into the spot we've designed for the photo but all of this is nice if you like to read and you like to look at instructions but I think it's a lot more fun if we do these pages together so every single month I film a tutorial or a, a workshop basically a video workshop of how each of these kits is assembled so I never leave you uh, you know wandering around curious about how it all works I will walk you through the process of turning this into a set of eight beautiful pages every single month. So let's take a look at those pages that we would make with the PRISM kit if you were to receive it and join over this weekend or the coming week. We have um, layouts one and two. I've already added pictures to these layouts and I think they turn out really beautiful. Um, my daughter had the opportunity to fly on a private jet during the first week of her full-time job upon graduating from college. So um, I'm very proud of that experience for her and I'm still waiting for my turn. <laughs> so that's page one and two. I have yet to add pictures to layouts three and four and we equip you to finish the layouts exactly as you see them if that's your desire. This is layout five and six and then of course layouts seven and eight and the beauty of this is you can take the same instructions that we provided to you to make these pages and you can substitute papers that you may have in a stash perhaps at your house and make additional uh, pages as well by following those same trimming instructions and in addition to that every single month our members receive a bonus page formula and this formula gives you again very detailed trimming instructions diagram and a sketch here is a sample of that page formula turned into a layout using the prism papers. Now if you'd been a member in June you would have received the vintage Americana page kit. Now in a normal situation if I was at an expo you'd be able to see these past kits that are still available for purchase and pick them up at the booth and we're just going to help you uh, take a look at what you could get uh, right here from my office and we will happily ship it to you so you still get a chance to shop as if you were at an expo. So these are the beautiful layouts that were created with that vintage Americana kit. My colleague Karen um, used the pages for a number of different really fabulous topics including her family Thanksgiving, her dad's military service, here is another family gathering which is just so perfect for this collection and um, finally again some more um, older vintage military pictures from her dad's service. So again this was a really beautiful kit that's so useful for any events you've got going on over the summer. Next up we have the Fly a Kite page kit and the color palette is just fabulous. It comes with a really fun stencil and let's take a look see at the pages made with this collection. Here we are celebrating uh, 20 years of club scrap. This is These are pictures from last summer which are really fun. In fact, during the video tutorial, I'll show you how to make this origami style pinwheel from the paper we've included in the collection. And so all of the kits make a total of eight pages quite consistently. Sometimes we have a bonus project included. Remember the days when we could go to concerts? Hmm, that was so much fun. Again, this is the Fly a Kite page kit and it is still available in the store. And this is the Hello Sunshine page kit you would have received if you'd been a member in April. And if you recall, we needed a little sunshine at that point in our lives as we we were getting weary already of uh, stay-at-home orders. And what a fun set of pages this makes. Again, eight total layouts in really cheerful summery colors and um, wonderful for florals, garden pictures, pool pictures, vacation. Here again is uh, a succulent planting workshop, I believe. And oh, and just showcase your adorable furry friend. Lots of versatility. I try to have our kit themes be appropriate for any reason, any season. Next up, we have the Western page kit, and this has more of an earthy, vintagey feel. 
and once again the versatility really shines and the way this method works is you finish the pages first and then you bring your your pictures to the finished pages and our newer members are discovering that this has been a wonderful method it takes away a lot of the guesswork and the most time-consuming parts of your scrapbooking it also helps you if you're feeling a little bit of a creative dry spell these uh, instructions, the video tutorials, and the finished layouts all provide the inspiration you need to get going with your scrapbooking. Look at these gorgeous pages. The theme was Western, but Karen was able to use it for all kinds of wonderful events happening in her life. And here we have the turquoise page kit. This one certainly adds a little bit of elegance, especially with the embellishments and the ribbons we've included. Plus it's just a really classy. These are wonderful for um, maybe vacation pictures. European vacation would be a really good mix with this if you've been uh, to Europe when we were still able to go there. These were taken on a cruise actually. This was, uh, these are some pictures of a vacation I took to Mexico and look how the red just in the image ties in with the red of the paper. That's really what I look for is the color. The color is what dictates what kit I use versus the theme. And here, in fact, I am in the Netherlands visiting a very dear club scrap a family member there. And in here is my daughter's graduation. Again, a perfect event for this really classy turquoise collection. So try not to let the theme of your picture necessarily dictate the theme you require for what's behind it. I think color is all about making those pictures shine and really works well in this situation. Next up, if you've had a special occasion such as a birthday or other celebration, the confetti page kit is perfect for you. Check out these wonderful colors. There was a stencil in the kit. We've made a really fun background just by inking a stencil. And here we have another page where we featured Renea Foil in the collection. And I'll show you how to make these adorable miniature envelopes, which would be a really fun page embellishment. We retrofitted a bag with metallic gold dots on it on this page. It kind of matches really well with the ribbon and the Renea foil included in this particular kit. Here we have some other fun things happening. A nice big uh, tag you can add a picture to, add more real estate to your pages with this confetti kit. I can just imagine you walking through the booth and looking at all the kits, inspecting the packaging, and then paging through the layouts. I'm so glad I get the chance to do this with you. This is the Coffee House page kit, so if you're a coffee lover, uh, this is definitely a collection for you. I know that Karen used these. Again, she really likes to think out of the box when she finishes her pages, and I'm able to use a lot of her uh, finished layouts because a lot of mine are on the road in a truck somewhere uh, for the expo that I haven't seen them in months. Uh, but look at these fabulous pages. And it's a coffee-themed paper, but the pictures don't relate to coffee, but still, are they look so fabulous. I hear we took it quite literally. We have a, some nice iced coffee happening here. And just keep, remember that all of the embellishments, everything used to decorate these pages, is included right in your kit. So you have the ribbon that you need to make this happen and then the video tutorial to help show you how to make it. So we really try to be a one-stop shop for you and help you use every single thing in that package. So far, all of the kits that you've seen have been monthly releases, but also we go back and remix or release special interest collections when the opportunity arises. So this was a Ports of Call page kit. This is a second edition of this theme. We re-released it after its initial popularity sold out very quickly. And the special releases are just a little bit different than our monthly kits. They still make eight pages. They still include all the embellishments, but there is a little bit more trimming involved. So in our regular monthly page kits, we have pre-cut photo mats for you. And in the special releases, you get all 12 by 12s, which gives me a little bit more paper to work with, but there's also more trimming. And um, in fact, I just filmed the um, video tutorial for this. So this comes with a video tutorial also. All of our monthly collections have the videos and many of our special releases do as well. This uh, kit is fabulous for any vacation you've ever been on, especially if there was a pool or an ocean involved. I just absolutely adore on these finished layouts. This is a trip I took in January, and I'm so thankful I had the opportunity to do that and also to highlight this vacation on these beautiful ports of call papers. This is actually a third variation of our On the Cape page kit. So it's more of a East Coast flair. Um, not to say that I use these pages for East Coast photos. This is a Caribbean cruise that I went on. I just love all the embellishments in here. They're so fun, so great to put together. 
Here we have some lighthouses from while I was snowmobiling in Upper Michigan this past winter. So don't ever let yourself be limited to what you can use on these completed pages. It's amazing how everything falls into place. Here is another special release that just came out less than three weeks ago called the High Tide Page Kit. And this has been remixed from a previous edition. And for this one, we added a pop of orange and a nice bright green. So far, this kit has been very well received. It's so new that I haven't even had a chance to put pictures on these pages yet. Um, but I do have a few left from past travels. I think they're gonna go, they'll go perfectly on these pages. Look at how fun. I adore this little jellyfish charm and then the feel and jelly. It goes right along with it. Of course, all the ribbons are included as well. In fact, I'm going to be doing a live a presentation of the making of these pages at the Club Scrap Facebook page in August. can't remember the date. I think it's August 11th at 3 p.m. Central. I'll be making these pages with you live on Facebook. What I find is that beginners kind of like to watch and, and spectate and then make it their own pace. And my really experienced Club Scrap members can keep up absolutely no problem with those live workshops that we offer. Now the last special edition kit I have to share with you today is our field sports page kit. And we get a lot of requests for sports uh, kits, but it can be very, very specific. You know, what kind of sport do you play? Do you have a kit for every sport? We chose not to go that route and we just chose field sports in general. And I love how this just gives a start and all you would need to do is incorporate some of the colors perhaps from your sports team, whether you've been to a football game or a soccer game, doesn't really matter. Any, any kind of sport this will work with. I love this. No grass stains, no glory, no bruises, no story. Um, and I try to give you a lot of neutral background so that when you add your team photos, they're really going to pop on these neutral tones. We are in, from Wisconsin, and I confess our very avid Packers fans. So here we are at Lambeau Field, the legendary Lambeau Field. I love this one, too. Go sports. I'm super excited because my team did stuff. Move the thing to the other thing. It's very exciting. Okay, here's a page yet to have some photos. I need to go to more Packer games to make that happen. Again, with those greens and those earth tones, it's going to be very neutral for whatever team you happen to follow. And here we have two additional layouts, some really fun embellishments here. We got the little round bottle cap with the epoxy sticker and then various artworks you can put inside those bottle caps. All of that's included right in the kit. And then we have the instructions for you to follow to make all of these pages happen very, very easily. I'd like to spend the last few minutes we have together talking about some of the tools that I use to ensure that everything I do is extremely efficient and can stay organized, keep everything straight. Because basically we trim everything required for eight entire layouts all at once and you end up with a lot of different pieces of paper. So a few years ago I developed this product called that I call an accordion pocket file. You'll notice it has four pockets and it has this extra lip on the front. And then there are stickers on the pockets that indicate one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically there is a pocket for every double page spread on the folio. And then this lip is designed to fit under the base of trimmer. So this way I have everything I needed right here to stay organized as I'm trimming the papers. And if you look again at the instructions, there's a little map on each item with two numbers on it that tells you which pocket is designated for that item. The same is true for all of the papers that you trim. There's that little one and two and that just tells you that piece is used on layout one and two. So that said, we have an accordion pocket file starter kit. This has everything you need to make your own accordion pocket file including a link to a video tutorial. It's right on that piece of paper in there. And if you follow my video, I'll walk you through the process of making this accordion pocket file for yourself so that you can stay organized while making your pages and cards. And this kit also includes a handy little bottle of our bookbinding glue, the labels, the needle tip applicator, kind of everything you need to get started. I have to tell you also, I'm totally in love with my 12 inch a guillotine style paper trimmer. I have a warehouse full of these that I purchased for the expo season and they're all here ready to find good homes. So if you need an excellent trimmer, it's very reasonably priced with a self-sharpening blade. You've got your centimeters, your inches, you've got a vertical grid every quarter inch, stabilizing bar to keep your paper from bu from buckling. And this has been used by me for years. In fact, I'm wearing away the, the screen printing in the middle, but that blade is still as sharp as it was the day I got it. So if you're looking for a nice workhorse trimmer that's very lightweight and very portable, this is the answer. And it just works so well with that accordion pocket file. 
I also would like you to meet three other little friends of mine. I have a 2x8 grid ruler, a 3x14, and an 8x8. And a lot of people wonder how I use these. And I actually am going to be filming a ruler basics video to really help you measure up <laughs> a little bit better with your ruler skills. But one of the things I wanted to show you, just by taking this layout as an example, is that I use my layouts all the time to help me level and evenly space things on my pages. So if you ever run a border strip across your page, I use that ruler to help me make sure it's level by aligning the grid of the ruler with the edges of the page and then I rest my border strip onto the edge of the ruler so that I know it's level and not running up or downhill. I don't know if that's just me but I have that up and hill up and downhill problem all the time so this takes that away and um, then the ruler also from 1 end to 0 to 14 but on the other edge it has 7 to 0 0 to 7 so I use the 0 center of that ruler and making sure my number here on the left is a six and I have a six here and then making sure that the paper is aligned with the grid of the ruler then I know I can start placing these pieces on my layout and in this case these three pieces are perfectly centered and evenly spaced from one another and I think that's what really can take your layouts up a notch when you are uh, finishing your pages and adhering things in place I won't do it without this guy so if you don't have a ruler like this I, I really encourage you to pick it up it's really going to improve the look of your pages then I use my 8 by 8 grid ruler when I'm finishing my pages with pictures if I don't happen to have my instructions handy and I don't know what size this is I can size it up and get my length and width all at once by hovering over the mat with my grid so here this mat is three and three quarter by three and three quarter so then I trim my photo to three and a half by three and a half and I can pop it in place no guesswork required I'm not sure if you measure things now um, but if you do make a habit of that you'll find you'll save a lot of time in your scrapbooking but let's just say I'm not really sure if I'm able to crop a picture to that size I can hover my ruler over the picture check out where three and a half by three and a half would crop and just make sure that picture is okay to crop for use in that spot and really most of them are so this is uh, how I use my 8x8 mainly when I'm finishing my pages with photos I also use my 2x8 when I can't find my 3x14 or my 8x8 or if I'm making cards because yes we do that here at Club Scrap as well we do have a monthly card kit option so here's what I want you to remember right now with the special that we're offering for you you have the ability to shop our entire website as if you were a member and what that gives you is eight dollars off of our kits so normally as a non-member you can still shop anytime you want but kit prices would be 29.95 this week if you use code page kit that's all one word page kit at checkout all of the kits that you've seen will be $21.95 and if you spend more than forty dollars so that's just two kits um, the shipping will be on us of course we keep the lights on because we have members and we'd love to have you join us and I have a special gift that if you decide to join you can receive this accordion pocket file kit as a free gift in your first member shipment so if you join again your shipment would be the prism kit that's the July collection going out uh, immediately to you and then every month thereafter unless we hear otherwise your kits will process on the 15th of the month People often ask if there's a minimum membership requirement, and I figure it's my job to earn your loyalty. I'd love to have you come and stay, but if it's not working out, I'm not going to make you stay. And yes, you are able to skip months if you must. We do give a spoiler preview of the collection near the end of every month before we start shipping the collections. Plus, if your membership renews on the 15th, that gives you 15 days of a solid look at our collection before you have to make a decision about whether or not you want to receive it. My hope is that you always will. So I hope to welcome you to the club as a new member. Remember, we're Club Scrap, and you can find more information about everything we talked about today at our special landing page I've made for this. It's clubscrap.com forward slash page kit, all one word. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in.
Hello everyone, Julie here with Paisleys and Polka Dots. I'm so excited to be here and a big thank you to Stampin' Scrapbook Expo for having me here today. Uh, if you're not familiar with Paisleys and Polka Dots, uh, we are an online company and all of our kits are pre-designed and many of them are pre-cut. Um, we make anything from scrapbook layouts to mini albums, card kits, and some of our more popular kits right now are our wood decor kits. So I will show you those in a moment, but first here's a look at our, one of our mini album kits. Um, this one is just so perfect for what's going on today, right now. And, um, I kept this one pretty easy, uh, so that even the younger generation, younger kids, um, could also document how they're feeling right now and document their moments and and what these times were like for them so they can look back and and see how um, how things were for them at this time so um, this album is actually currently sold out but we will be having more in stock um, if uh, with our mini album kits um, they are prepackaged by page so you get step-by-step -step instructions in the kit and then they are packaged by page in these Ziploc bags. So all of the pieces for that page are pre-cut and placed into these Ziplocs. And then you follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. So um, makes it a quick uh, quick and easier project. Um, they, they're pretty simple for um, beginner scrapbookers, but also detailed enough that seasoned scrappers can appreciate them as well. So that is the mini album. Um, here's a look at one of our two page kits. And this is the one I'm gonna be showing you today and what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be actually, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to put the paper behind these die cuts here. So I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. And then I'm gonna show you our wood kits. Now our wood kits are all um, either, they're hand cut and also laser cut. They come packaged like this with all of the wood pieces together. And then you also receive a separate packet with all of the, the paper pieces for the kit. This kit requires you to trace and cut, so they're not pre-cut, but you do have all the, the paper in there and step-by-step -step instructions for completing the project. If you're not familiar with um, how to do the wood kits, there is a video tutorial online step-by-step -step, to show you the entire process of how to put one of these kits together. Um, I'll show you what it looks like all done because it is super adorable. So this was our um, bumblebee gnomes and I designed these to be put on a tiered tray. So there's quite a few pieces that go with this individual kit here. So this is what they look like finished. Aren't they just adorable? I just love these little guys. They make me so happy. Um, it comes with both these guys comes with these two blocks here and it also comes with this garland because the tiered trays always have these garlands on them and these garlands are just so popular with the natural wood balls right now so um, but they're cute on a shelf on a mantle anywhere in your home um, just love the wood decor kits um, and they're a quick and easy project to do right now um, if you're at home crafting trying to find something to do these are quite popular Okay, let's get back to our two page layout. This is a look at the pages that we're gonna be completing today. This is the left hand side of the page. Okay, and this is the right hand side of the page. And I'm actually going to be showing you mostly how to put this paper behind the die cut because um, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory here. Uh, this is the instructions that you get in the kit and it's numbered for you so that you know which piece goes where and um, by number so piece number one is first then number two number three and so on that way you can layer up the pieces um, as shown in the photo here and if you have any questions it's easier to follow the numbers okay so I'm going to set that aside this is the die cut sheet that you're going to get with the kit and inside it has these these die cuts like this okay and that this is what I'm going to be showing you how to back here's all the paper pieces um, you do receive a sticker sheet as well. This is the sticker sheet and you'll be using many of these on the layout and you'll have plenty of extras for a future project if you'd like. Okay, and this is all of the paper pieces for the page which are all pre-cut for you and um, you're just going to lay them out according to the photos um, to put it all together. Okay, there is one sheet that you do have to cut apart and it's this sheet and you're just going to follow along with the the photos here to figure out which which strips you need so like but down here you need this stripe strip here 
um, over here is piece number eight, this little dot. You're going to need this tree and this blue strip. And it does say that um, you are going to need a piece of the back of this to cover your little bone and paw for the die cuts. So you don't want to cut each strip apart. So for time saving purposes, I went ahead and cut them apart. So these are all the strips that I'm going to use on the layout. And then this is the piece that I had left over. This is the gray piece. So I'm going to set this aside for now. Set my instructions aside. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is to ink all of my paper pieces. Inking is optional. It's a matter of preference whether you want to do it or not. Uh, my color of choice is this Tim Holtz Walnut Stain. It's my go-to color. But any color brown you have will work. Um, anything that is your favorite brown. Even chalks will work if you um, prefer to ink. So um, in order to ink my pieces, if you haven't done so, um, I just a lot of these I went ahead and I inked, so let me find one that I haven't inked. So this orange piece here, all I do is uh, dab my little um, inking tool into my, my stamp pad here, and I just brush the edge of the paper like so. Just getting a little bit of ink on the edge. I tend to have a really light hand because I don't like heavy inking, and that's just my preference. I like a very light, a very light look. It helps make your, um, your pattern papers uh, separate from one another when they're all laid on the layout. So you just go all the way around this with the ink, okay? And you're going to want to do that to all of the paper pieces, okay? So once you're done with that, you're going to set your ink aside. And I'm not going to do all of my pieces just to save time here. And then I'm going to show you, you're going to want to take your die cut here. And I'm going to show you how to um, place paper behind that die cut. So I'm going to take these my bottom pieces and set them aside. Okay, so there's several different ways that you can do this. And for me, this is the easiest way. I'm gonna start at the top here. And I'm gonna do each section at a time. Okay, so you wanna have, um, I use a mechanical pencil. Go ahead and um, place your die cut on the sheet of paper and then trace around it with the pencil. Trace all the way around the die cut. And where the die cut doesn't, you know, where you can't have a line to use, you can move it to one of the other shapes because this shape is the same. It, they're just placed at different angles. So for instance, like this area right here, I can't trace around that area. So I can find another shape that has that area. So if I take this one and line it up, I can get that, that part that I'm missing, like so. Okay, so you can see my line there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out, and I'm not going to cut on the line. I'm going to cut in from the line so that um, my die, so that it's not going to show outside my die cut. And uh, you don't have to be too precise on your cutting because that that white line of the die cut is going to cover it. And you don't want to cut too far in from the line because then you're, you're just going to cut away too much paper. So um, I usually am a little bit, I cut on a little bit on the safer side, and then if I have to go back and cut more away, I will do so. So I'm gonna try and do this really quickly here so that we can get through it pretty fast. Okay, so. Like I said, I'm gonna do this pretty quickly. So my cutting, I would probably spend a little bit more time cutting a little bit, a little bit nicer than this if, if I wasn't on a time frame here. So, okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it behind my die cut to see how it fits, okay? And it fits pretty good. Okay, now if I needed to, I would go back and, so like right here, I have a little bit too much excess, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more of that off. So you can always cut away more. You can't, you can't add to it once you cut it off. So you try to be a little bit cautious with that. Okay, so it lines up pretty good. And if there, it's a little bit off, by the time you get it on your layout, it's not gonna show that much. So I like to use a uh, glue pen. This one's made by Zig. And any kind of glue pen will work. And I like to uh, draw around that die cut on the back side with the ink. These work nice because they got the nice point on it, so you can get in all those little, those little tight spaces here. Okay, draw all the way around it. 
and then place your paper on to the die cut. And press it down. Okay, so then when you turn it over, now you have that part covered. Okay, so you're going to continue to do it on all of these pieces that you see here. Now, to do one of the hearts, let's do one of the red ones. Okay, I'm just going to take it, I'll put the die cut over the top, trace around it with the pencil. He said, if you want to get that point in there, you can find another heart that's the same size. and continue to add to that piece. So now I have my heart. So I'm going to cut that one out. And again, I'm trying to do this rather quickly, so I'm probably not being as precise as what I would normally. Okay, so that one's going to go right here. Okay, I can either use a paint pen or I also like uh, this zip dry liquid glue. Um, if it gets anywhere on your on your layout that you don't like it, it um, it will wipe off once it's dry. So it works really great. So I will glue that one down. Okay. So that's how I do those hearts. And then the other way that we can do it, I'll do it on this bone here. I'm going to take a piece of that gray. Here's a little piece that I have here. Okay, so now we can uh, go ahead and add glue to the die cut. Just paint around it here real quickly. Normally I would give these a few minutes to dry before I go ahead and cut around them so they don't lift. Place it onto your paper. So then now instead of drawing around it and cutting it out with a pencil. Now I've got my die cut all glued to the paper and now I'm going to cut around the die cut with the scissors. This way is a little bit more difficult for me. Only because I can't get as close to the die cut as what I would like. So I prefer to do it the other way, but this way works too. So it's all in how, what you think works best for you. And that's what you should do. Okay. So we have that one cut out. So now I'm going to show you how to do. So we have our little bone here. That's going to go on this page here. So we have this one cut out. Um, I also did the paw already as well, so we can save on time. So these two are cut out. And then I also have this piece that's already pre-done so that I could save on time. And then um, on the back side of, of this, this is where the yellow is too. So you're gonna use the back. There's another piece in the kit that um, you have plenty of extra yellow to work with as well. So this is what it looks like all completely finished with all the pieces that I had traced and cut out. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the D here on the yellow. So this one, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to glue all the way around the D. Drawing the glue on, okay, and then I'm going to put this right here like this on that edge so that I don't have to worry about that edge. That's one less thing I have to cut away with and it's going to be inside the end. So for that one, I just put it along the edge there. It'll save me a little bit of time and a little step there that I don't have to worry about. Okay, and then I'm going to cut around that, that white die cut. This, this is um, not quite dry, so like I said, I would let it dry a little bit so that it doesn't move at all on you. There we go. 
Okay, so that's how you do the D. And then the R, you're going to have to trace once again on the inside of this and then cut on the outer part of the line. So you're going to want to trace like this, or you can actually trace on the outside this way. You can trace it this way all around the outside edge and then cut just inside that line okay so that's the way that one is going to work so this is the way your finished piece will look just like this okay so then we're going to go back to our layout and we're going to lay out all of the pieces that we have this is the the right side this was the other piece to cut the R and the D because normally I would have had this other one all used up for the other die cut. So, okay, so we're going to lay this out just like so, okay, and if I look at my instructions here, I've got a, a the dotted border and the green border on this sheet as well. So it's going to get laid out like that and then my finished die cut will layer over the top just like so okay so the, and then your photos will go here on here these are not um mats they're not photo mats they are a representation of your photo and it shows what size you need so your photos will go here so this will be this side of the of the page pretty much all done and then on this side This is piece number one. The trees are piece number two. This is number three. The flower border, which it says in the instructions, is on the gray side. So we're going to flip that over and put it that way. Then this one will go, number five is down here, and then number six is the brown. So that's the way this layout will get. And then our die cut, once we complete it, will go on here like this. And to place this down, you're just going to go around it with your paint pen again and put it down onto your layout. You kind of have to work a little quickly because the glue does tend to dry a little fast. Or you can kind of glue it down in sections too if you prefer to do it that way. Um, this is the bone, which will go here. Your, your picture is going to go here. And then the bone and your paw print up here. So... I'll show you another look at the finished project. So this is the way it looks all finished. Like I said, this is a representation. This would be your photo here. So this is the finished layout that you see. Um, you can use the uh, the stickers the, the way um, I did on these layouts, or you can use your own creativity for doing them, okay? So what do you think? Pretty quick and easy, huh? So uh, right now we are offering a 20% off all kits for the next week. When ordering, you can use the code virtual in the coupon code box to receive the discount. And um, if you're interested in any more information on the kits, you are welcome to follow us on our social media channels, as you see here and or sign up for our newsletter on our website. This way you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest kits. I um, want to thank you all for joining me today and thanks again to Stampin' Scrapbook Expo for having me. Happy crafting everyone! Hi everyone, Julie here again with Paisley's and Polka Dots. We'd like to thank you for tuning in today for the Shop at Home Scrapbook Page Kits event. We hope you had an amazing time with us. Happy scrapping everyone. Bye.